This is a short demonstration of how to calculate the standard deviation of a data set using Excel. We're going to use a problem from the textbook. This is from section 3.2 and it's problem number 31. This is a problem about uh, two different sets of uh, automobiles and we're going to treat this, I think this is the number of miles that a car would go uh, and uh, so we're gonna we're gonna find out um, the uh, standard deviation of, of this set of data and we'll find out the standard deviation of this set of data and because we're not using these as samples of a larger population we're going to consider this as one population and this as another population. So right here in cell A17, we're going to write a short formula for calculating the standard deviation for uh, the CAR1 data. You begin with an equals and then a uh, parenthesis standard s we're going to st and what we want to choose is the stdevp p for population you can see here this will calculate the standard deviation based on the entire population so we're going to select that whoops i'm sorry we don't want a parenthesis there it's going to put one right there for us so we're going to put that there and then we're going to select the data that we want it to calculate a standard deviation for. So we'll go up here and we will highlight all that data. And then just close that with a right parenthesis and hit enter. And it tells us that the standard deviation is just a little bit over 21. Let's do that same for the CAR2 data. It's equals stdevp for population do a left parenthesis highlight the data you want to use using your mouse and then close the parenthesis okay and that has a higher standard deviation about 47.4 approximately so that's how you use Excel to determine the standard deviation. By the way, we can also, while we're in here, we can calculate the mean. Let's do that. We're going to put that in line 18. So it equals, and then we just do average, A-V-E-R-A-G-E. -E. Let's spell it all out. Left parenthesis, and we'll just highlight those numbers, making sure we don't capture that line 17, close, and our average is 223 for the CAR1 data, and our average for the CAR2 data, and you can type this in as well, I'm going to do that this time. So this goes from B2, colon, B16 and close. Okay, and that's the end of this short video.